Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to create an interface between Gazebo and Unity 3D for your robot. This is a tutorial published on the DaVinci Innovation Center website. The website is linked below. We explore RothSharp, which is a framework to connect Unity 3D and Gazebo. This creates a virtual model useful in both worlds and we can see applications of this technology in bringing robotics to virtual reality in such things as cross reality in such things as interactive and virtual interfaces etc. Unity 3D is at an advantage and useful for ro robotics engineers who want to create simulated environments that are both realistic and precise and accurate. For example, collisions are defined very precisely. Gazebo is useful for the robotics community that use it from, from designing robots to autonomous systems, etc. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at the interface. From Unity to um, Ross Sharp. Both will be in actual different environments. Unity in Windows and Ross is conventionally in Ubuntu. We will be installing both environments in order to create this demo. In this demo, the Unity um, object is controlled by mouse signals that are turned into uh, motion of the turtle bot. To do this, we have been able to follow a tutorial that exists online for us shop. All the documentation exists online. And this is an open source tutorial that will follow. Why is this useful? Well, in my spare time, I've been trying to make virtual models follow, um, well, move and follow trajectories and follow and be followed by actual models. This has proven to be quite a feat to make models approach virtual models. And what I've noticed is that a turtle bot, which has wheels underneath or on the sides, will not have the same angles of rotation as any kind of model and a standard uh, model is required. Angles of rotation are just the first step but for any application for any robot we need some virtual model to create an interface between the two. This is particularly useful if I have a model that can simulate not only physics but its own tilt. Alright. And even further, it's useful if my model can therefore be trained.
using this framework from a Unity simulator to a ROS training ground. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let me know what you think of it.